over the time i have heard clients ask questions like peter what are the benefits of having a corner piece property in this video i'm going to be sharing with you the pros and cons of a corner piece property i'm going to do this with the aid of a diagram i've designed something to share with you all right so please stick around watch to the end i'll be glad you do remember my name is peter twinner from luckyproperty.com my job is to assist you with the right real estate investment information so that when you're making real estate investment decision you need to make the right decisions please watch to the end i'll be glad you do For a start, I just want to remind you that this video is only for educational purpose. All right, I'm not here to make decisions for you whether to buy a corner piece property or not. But I'm just trying to guide you when you are buying property so that you know exactly what you are expecting. All right, so I'm going to be sharing the uh, diagram shortly with you. But first of all, what is a corner piece property? A corner piece property is a property that is located bordering on two streets. All right, so with the aid of diagram, I'm going to share that with you so you'll be able to understand it and see how it looks like, okay? Without further ado, let's get in right to the diagram so that you can share this information. All right, stick around, watch to the end, as I like said. And if you, this is your first time of watching my video, my name is Peter Twinnet from LuckyPeopleTeal.com. My job is to assist you with the right real estate investment information so that when you're making real estate investment decisions, you'll be able to make the right decisions. And if you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please use the opportunity Click on the subscribe button below, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I post all my videos, you'll be among the first to be notified. Let's go straight to the diagram. So to begin, here's the diagram I have designed, okay, to share with you what a corner piece uh, property is. Alright, so as you can see here, um, this very location here is a straight route coming to the estate. Alright, now coming inside the estate, this is straight route. We have a street here. Can you see that? Peter Twinnet Street or Lane. Okay, now coming from here, we have this plot of land here, which is plot one. This plot one is a corner piece. The reason why it's a corner piece is because it's bordering on Peter Twinnet Lane and the major estate route here. Okay, so which means that the owner of this plot here can actually have a gate here. First of all, they market this land, have a gate entrance here. Have another gate entrance here so the people who are going to be living here will be coming out through here while the people who will be living on this side will be coming out through this other side okay i'm going to explain that when i do the main proper video but this is just a diagram i want to share with you all right same also in plot two plot two is also a corner piece land because it's bordering on this street and on this street can you see that unlike this plot here is bordering only on peter twinnet lane same also in plot six plot three plot five plot uh, seven and plot eight they are all normal plot sizes all right so i'm going to be giving you the cons and the pros of this property or property that is on the corner piece so please sharing with this having this uh, diagram in mind i will not dive into the main video fully with you so please stick around watch as i'm going to share this information with you to the end Let's go to the main video now. Come with me. So, having the diagram I just shared with you in mind, I want to discuss with you the pros and cons of a corner piece land. Now, for a start, let's begin with the pros, all right? Now, uh, a corner piece land, like I mentioned from the beginning of this video or property, is that a corner piece plot is bordering on two streets. So, it gives you added advantage. Now the advantage is going to give you like i just discussed with you on that diagram is that you can be able to have two gate entrance one from this street one from the other street as well as you can be able to split the land into two depending on estate regulation all right the reason why i'm saying depend on estate regulation is that some estate company will say okay if you have 600 square meter land even though it's on a corner piece you are only going to build one structure on it okay so it depends on the estate uh, uh regulation so you walk up, uh, along with the estates to find out if you can build two units of building on your corner piece land okay so that is one now let's move further as i'm going to share further information regarding the pros of a corner piece property the second pros to a corner piece property is that the corner piece property is always bigger than the regular plot in some instances in some cases depending on estate all right there are some uh corner piece 
that uh, is like 50 uh, uh, square meter or 100 square meter above the regular plot in that estate there are some too that is about 50 60 70 square meter bigger than the regular or normal plot sizes in the estate so the uh, uh corner piece properties are always bigger in size all right remember i said it's boiling on two streets like i showed you in the diagram the uh, street on this side and the street on this other side so it's always bigger that is another big pro pros of having a corner piece property all right now i've just given you two pros of having a corner piece property now i'm going to be diving on the cons the cons what are the cons of having a, a corner piece property all right so please stick around as i'm going to share that information with you in the gf and if you have to subscribe to my youtube channel please it's an opportunity click on the subscribe button below subscribe to my youtube channel so that when i post subsequent videos you'll be among the first to be notified keep on watching as i give you the cons of having a corner piece property and at the end you decide for yourself if it's right for you or not now we've talked about the pros of having a corner piece property now we're going to talk about um, the cons of having a corner piece property now remember like i mentioned from the outset of this video this video is just for educational purpose so you have your decisions to make by yourself okay i'm not there to give you decisions as to whether to buy a corner piece property or not you make the decisions by yourself all right so it's a purely for educational purpose for a lot of our clients who have been asking me questions peter what is the benefit what is the benefit of a corner piece property so i'm doing this video for you all right so please stick around as i'll be sharing the cons shortly to you all right let's go there one of the biggest cons of a corner piece property that i personally have experienced is noise making yes remember from the end of that diagram the corner piece property is right at the edge of two streets is burning on two streets the street going this way and the street going on this way so it's at the edge here at the middle all right let me just call that one middle all right so the challenge is that there is always noise coming from either of this street or going to this other street that's the biggest challenge now let's say for instance vehicles are coming from this street and going to this towards this other street they must horn in front of your property they must horn so that the coming vehicle from this other side does not hit or they collide to each other all right so there must be horning all right right here like in, for instance in my estate here when i'm driving out of my street going towards the other street i must horn so that in case if there's any vehicle that is coming from this other side will not collide at each other so that's one of the biggest pros uh, cons all right the biggest cons of staying or having a corner piece property there's always noise that is simple as abc so if you don't like noise then decide for yourself if corner piece property is for you all right now let me share with you another cons of the corner piece property another big cons to the corner piece property is that a car can miss his track eh, and find himself in your compound this has happened severally all right a man was coming back from work he was drunk already driving in from another street to enter his own street and he ran into a corner piece property all right this can also happen if the estate management does not have things like a speed breaker closer to the building or thereabouts so if you are considering a corner piece property all right either the land or a building or a corner piece you can think about these pros and cons that i've given to you in this video i hope this helped you very well all right so when you're making decisions in buying corner piece property please remember this video it will help you guide you as to making decisions all right thank you so much for watching this video so far to this point thank you so much for always watching my videos for subscribing to my youtube channel for uh, buying properties through me even when you have not seen me to our clients our friends our partners our, our viewers our prospects i want to say thank you so much for always trusting in my brand i will not take this for granted thank you so much you are the best you have a wonderful day